live from the broadcast studios of East Jackson. All right, let's go. <laughs> we've got uh, we've got some things. I sent it to you, right? I said, okay, you had to classify some numbers, correct? So that's classification. Uh, <clears throat> I see a lot of blank paper. That's really does not fare well in a math class if you got blank papers and you haven't done anything. But we had three things t uh, times two, right? Six things total, right? And uh, and they were having to deal with a rat, a rational plus a rational, a irrational plus a irrational, a irrational plus a rational, right? The three combinations. And then we looked at those things in terms of multiplying, correct? So here we go. So the sum of a rational number and an irrational number is anybody. It is what? Sometimes, always, or never? Always. Yeah, it's always. So on this sheet, and this is what took me, because I, I split this, and I really should have uh, looked at it, but it is a... Uh, it is uh, irrational, right? And it's always, right? Here's an example. Uh, here you go. Two plus three squares of three. That's a really good example. That's a uh, rational plus irrational. And it's always what? Irrational. Good. Okay, so let's go to the next one. The product of a rational number and irrational number is sometimes what? The product of them is what? An irrational times a rational number. How could it be both? Yeah, zero times, zero is a rational number, right? So that took care of this part, right? But times an irrational, well, you would get what? You get zero, and zero is a rational number, right? So sometimes it can be rational. So sometimes, right? Yep. So uh, you could do really anything you want to. Um, You could choose any examples, but I'm really concerned about this. See, if I do this times, let's just say three squared to three, well, that's still what? Zero, which is a rational number. And then if I'd done, a, um, let's just say square root of four times square root of three, well, that still is what? Irrational, right? So, yeah. So that, that's going to give you square root of 12, which is still what? Irrational, right? So sometimes you got rational, and then sometimes you got what? Now, what do you think the majority of the times is going to be? Yeah, you've got those exceptions to the rules, but they're still exceptions, okay? you got to make sure you understand that. Now, let's go back up. The sum of a rational number and irrational number is blank. Well, the sum of a of a of a rational number and irrational number is guess what? Is what? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the thing that's that, that's the thing that confused me on Friday when they make up the, this this table. They want us to make it never true, right? So the sum of a rational and irrational number is never what? Yeah, it's never rational. Okay. 
so they want to make an, uh, a, a, a false statement. Really, I would probably do this. Uh, if I was to do this, I would probably just kind of circumvent it just a tad bit, and I would just do um, basically these things. And what I mean by that, um, I would just do this. Uh, a rat plus a rat equals what? Rats. What is uh, an ear plus an ear? Ear. And then what is a uh, well, it's not well, some, let's do a rat plus an ear. What is that? That's always what? Ear. But I want to go back to ear plus an ear. What is ear plus an ear? Is it, well, we said irrational, but could it be rational too? Anybody find whether it was irrational? A rat? Uh, well, I'm asking y'all. That was the only homework that you really had to find, right? The rest of it was identify what these numbers are, whether they were rational or irrational, right? That was the easy part, and that was to be done at home. This is what we're doing right now, okay? So, ear plus an ear? Could it be both? Give me an example of why it would be a rat. Y'all gonna figure that one out. Man, rough day for the poor little kids across the way. Okay, so what's a rat times a rat? It's what? It's rational, right? All right, now. What about, uh, an irrational times an irrational. What is it going to be? Would it? Well, it could be irrational and, or, hold up, I shouldn't put and, or what? Rational. Anybody give me, give me an uh, indicator or give me an example where it would be Ear times an ear would be rational. So I'm looking at like square root of three. That, that you know, those are irrational, right? Right. One, two, two people out today. You're going to be standing up if your head goes down. I don't see your eyes. Do you understand? We're not going to get into something that is consistently going to sleep. Get enough sleep at night. Put the games away. Okay. Get sleep. Close that right there. Okay. Okay. Where would I oh, give me an example of an ear times an ear that I would get? Go. That's exactly correct. The square root of five times the square root of five. Both of those are irrational, right? But you get the product of square root of twenty-five, which is what five. So if you multiply two irrationals that are the same, you have created a rational number because it cancels out. Good job. I like that. So anybody. That's the example, really, of, of that. Okay, now, what do I, what do I have left? Let's see. Um, a rat times an ear. 
Could it? Could it could be rational? Well, I definitely say it could be irrational, right? Because I could do uh, square root of four times square root of three. That's square root of twelve, right? So I, I know that's that's to be true. So that that's okay. But give me an example. Oh yeah, we've already done it, right? My brain's coming back. Or rational, right? Yeah, and that would be the zero, right? Correct. And this one I'm gonna put uh, square root of three times square root of three equals square root of nine, which is what? Good. All right. So there's your your thing. But I still put this this question mark up here, right? Ear plus an ear. Is it always an irrational number? Yes or no? Are you sure? Well, here's what I want you to do. I want you to take the next 30 seconds and use those electronic devices for other something other than Instagram, snap, snapping, chatting, facing, booking, and, and texting. Go. Okay, so the answer to this is uh, we go R a rat, right? So if we do an irrational plus an irrational, if we say uh, square root of 2 plus negative square root of 2, what does that give me? Right. So if you do an irrational number and it's opposite and add it together, you get what number? Which is what type of number? Rational number. So, yeah, there's those little bit of exceptions that sneak up and badunk, uh, bite you on the badunk dunk, right? All right, so y'all good there? That's really what you need to know. And that's what that, and yeah, get this down. I'm, I'm not too concerned about that little sheet right there, per se. Um, I want you to get this. This is what I had for your homework anyway, right? And this breaks it down to very simple. You can look at it and know what it is, right? Right. If it's a rat plus a rat, well, uh, is a rat always, then it can never be what? Irrational. So if you understand that, you should be okay. All right, so take take your time. Take 30 seconds. Copy it down. All right, any questions off of that? Anybody? Any? Okay. So here's what we're about to do. We're about to have some fun. Yeah, I know my definition of fun and yours is kind of different. So, I got homework for you, too. Man, education, the gift that keeps on giving, right? They drew on my desk. That everybody's happy that walks out of my room. No, no, everybody's happy when they walk out of my room. There you go. See, it's like this. Like this thing. Each day is better than the next, right? What does that mean? I'm happy when I walk out. Me, it's going down. What hill, right? Yeah. It's okay. There you go. Listen. Everybody got this copy down? Yes. All right. I passed out these sheets that are. Um, you have to classify them as rational. Or irrational. So you put I or what? Uh, How about that? You can write rats or you can write ears, right? Doesn't matter to me. But we're gonna we're gonna look at the left side and you can do right side for homework, right? So we're gonna look at the odds and you look at the evens. evens. Is that good? Sorry, I just stepped on that. I like your shirt. Let's do it. Okay, so I need you to take, I don't know, um, your 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, you've got, I don't know, two minutes to determine whether those are rational or irrational. Okay? Every, every fraction is what? Now how about that? You ready? Boom. boom. This is the terminating decimal, so therefore it is what? Rational. This is square root of 147. Well, 147 is not a what? Perfect square. So, therefore, it has to be what? You see, it's like music to my ears. But what? 
Okay, what you have to understand is either perfect square or non-perfect square. If it's a perfect square, it's rational. If it's a non-perfect square, it will always be irrational. Ready? I thought so. Cube root of 17. Well, 17 is not a perfect what? No. Perfect cubed. It's not a perfect cube. 17 is not a perfect cube. Right? That's 1, 8, 27, 64, 125. That's up to five, right? Y'all ready? Spoon. Pi is always who? Well, how about that? That's our old famous thing, right? On and on and on. Eleven? Well, if you go back to your thing, it, that's an irrational plus an irrational is a what? Did we write that down? Yeah? You see it right here? Irrational plus irrational is what? Except for when? When they cancel what? Like this. So we're going to put this. Square root of 3 plus negative what? Square root of 3, right? Does that make sense? We put that little exception in there? It's wonderful. Okay. Is that all on the front page? No. 13. 13. All right. 3 plus the square root of 5. Well, 3 is a rational number plus an irrational number is a what? Irrational number. There you go. Questions? 15? Okay. Is two square? Is 200 a perfect square? Is 200 a perfect square? Nah. So you can automatically say that that is what? That's exactly right. Good job. Good job. Ten times twenty. Inside, inside, outside to what? That's multiplying radicals. You know that IXL thing that I've given y'all? I printed out, gave every one of y'all an IXL little card. How are you? Have you been on IXL and A1 doing stuff like E1 and all that other stuff? No. Polynomial. It is EE. Is double E's. EE ones. Fours, five, six, seven, yeah. Okay, is that all off front page? So let's let's look at the back real quick. Fifteen, here's seventeen. Square root of six times seven. Well, you got a, a rational times an irrational. Well, it could be rational, but the majority of the time it's who? Irrational. It's only if those are the same radicals, right? Yeah, and they're not, right? You good? Okay, any questions? 19? I know. You're starting to use... You're starting to think. You're starting to use... Right there. Look. And it makes all the difference. I know. I know. All right, y'all ready? 5, 6 plus 3 fourths. Both of them are rational numbers. So you add them together. They better be what? A bunch of rats. Okay, now... The next thing that you have is, uh, wait, there's a uh, direction. Let me see the directions. Is there directions there? 20, no, you work alone. That burn it. Okay. Um, there's directions on this. It says to define whether it's rational or irrational, put the, the rule beside it, right? Yeah, doesn't it say that? Let's see what it says. It says, identify each of the following as rational or irrational. Then choose the appropriate rule that justifies your answer. So, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Okay. Oh, no, see, you got to determine which one it is, and then, you know, if it's rational or irrational, and then what rule upon that, right? Right? All right, go. And then we'll check. You want to do the left side and then come back and do the right side? Yeah? Let's do the left side and then we'll check it. Fair enough? Go. 21. 6 plus square root of 4. It is what? It's rational. What rule tells you that? A. Good job. A. All right. So 
23. What is 23? Is it rational or irrational? Irrational, good. What rule? Not C. D. So you have one rational and one irrational, right? That was 23. Ah. Okay. What about 25? What about 25? Let's let's kind of go over here to 25. I'm going to make that go a little bit smaller. 25. What is it? F. F? Well, F would mean that it is what? Two irrational numbers is sometimes rational. Oh, that's right. We didn't think about... Uh, we talked about square root of 3 times square root of 3, right? But we didn't think about square root of 12 times square root of 3, which is square root of 30. That's right. Which is also a perfect square. So we left off another case, right? So it's 2. So it is rational. And which one is it? F. Good job. Good, good job. Excellent. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, 27. It's what? It is rational. It is rational. Let me show you what they said right here for 27. Snap. Let me show you. What did, guess what they said it was? That is what? Wrong. Wrong. They said it was irrational, right? Girls. Focus. UPS delivers things faster than y'all. Come on now. What can Brown do for you today? That's right. That's your state motto right there. Huh? No, dude. It's, uh, oh, it's still I. That's right. I says that it's rational. They, they were wrong. It is rational, right? They, they, they have an error in their thoughts, right? Does that make sense? Sure. 29? What is it? It is what? I. We did, though. It was I. Now, look at this one. Guys, 3 squared is 5 minus 3 squared is 5 is what? So it's an irrational, really, plus an irrational, right? Which is what? Right. So it's it's a rational, zero. What is it? C. It's C, right? Okay, guys. That's all that I've got for for you. That you got the right hand side that you have to do, as well as another opportunity to see how you're gelling. It's a barometer. That homework sheet is a barometer. That is, you know, it's it. Use it to check your understanding, right? Fair enough. Y'all good? All right. Take care.